The story for Carl Juarez Gunslinger brings us back to the good old nitty gritty Wild West where we follow Silas Greaves, a former bounty hunter who decides to rest up at a saloon. There he is bombarded by a few of the saloon patrons who all recognize him as the famous bounty hunter. In return for free drinks, Silas begins to tell tales of his adventures which includes killing some of the most notorious outlaws but his main target is a man named Roscoe Bob Bryant who did something terrible to Silas in the past and he has to go after him to get revenge. As the stories get more ridiculous and sounding more made up, the patrons start to realize this guy isn't who he really thinks he is. So that's the story for Gunslinger, which was a pleasant surprise. Silas is a likable old badass who narrates the entire game, even during firefights, which might get a little distracting to some, but me, I was never distracted, so I felt it was a nice addition. The other patron characters will actually start adding their own narration at times, and I thought that added some really good humor to the game. And being able to kill some of the biggest outlaws in the West makes this story entertaining all the way through. Hell, they even add a couple of twists in there, just in case you're a big fan of twists. It's a fun story that is never meant to be taken seriously. I enjoyed it all the way through. So there you go. There is the story. Now let's talk about the sound for Gunslinger. The voice acting is very well done from everybody, especially Silas's voice actor, who had the perfect voice for our aging bounty hunter in the West. You could tell everyone had a good time with their roles, especially since the writing was very humorous and fun. The sound design creates that distinctive Wild West feeling, from the sounds of the guns firing to the windiness in the environment, it does sound like the Wild West, so I think it is fantastic. And the soundtrack is very much the same. It comes in at the right opportunities and creates some really intense shootouts. Overall, the sound here is great. Now let's talk about the graphics, which Gunslinger decides to ditch the more realistic graphics of the previous installments and goes for a cell shaded look which resembles something like Borderlands. While it doesn't look as good, I do think the game's violence and its Wild West setting actually appeals nicely to cell shading, which I thought I'd never say. The environments have a nice variety, even though most of them are brown or gray, which is to be expected for them to use those colors over and over again in a Wild West game. Character models are repeated a lot for the low-level enemies, which again is to be expected, but when it comes to the bosses, they look great and have a lot of detail in the modeling and the animation. Cutscenes are rendered in a comic style which works well for the ridiculous fashion of the story and while the environments do look good, I did notice a lot of texture popping. Besides that, this is a damn good looking arcade game that uses its style very well. Now the gameplay for Gunslinger is very much an arcade style first person shooter which is very different from the past games. In this game, every kill will award you with points and if you kill in succession or if you kill with a more unique way like exploding a barrel next to them or shooting them in the head, then you will gain more points which will allow you to level up and allow you to gain new skills. The story mode is linear which is disappointing because I was hoping for a sandbox but the linear style works well for a shoot em up like this. Just go around and shoot everyone with your revolver, your dual revolvers, rifles, shotguns, and dynamite. What makes it fun is the distinct gunplay, which is back from the first two games. The gunplay doesn't feel like Call of Duty or Battlefield. It feels like Call of Juarez, which was my main problem with the last game. It felt like Call of Duty, not Call of Juarez. Keep that call out of this call, please. But let me get back into this game. The gunplay is very distinct like the first two games and it's a ton of fun and kind of addicting to go around and shoot everyone and try to keep a combo up while thinking of unique ways to dispatch your enemies. Something that might help with your gameplay is the bullet time mode which is back in this game which of course lets you slow down the game so you can easily aim at an enemy and kill them or even dodge incoming bullets. This mode can only be accessed by filling up the slow mo bar which can only be filled up by killing enemies. The higher the combo or the more unique the kill the quicker it will go up. The bullet time feature is great in Call of Juarez with the exception of the cartel and it is probably the best in Gunslinger seeing that you will actually really need it besides it being just a really cool game. At times the game overwhelms you with enemies and it can get very difficult, very frustrating and not fun because you just don't know where these enemies are and they're all shooting at you. This is why bullet time is needed so badly so you can slow down time, pick off your enemies or you can save it up and when that last bullet's about to hit you and kill you, you can actually dodge it. It will let you dodge it and you actually get health back for that. So you can save it or you can actually use it. So you have two choices there. Now speaking of things that are back. 
The quick draw mode is back in this iteration which puts you up against a boss character in the story mode and will test your concentration and reflexes. Before pulling your gun out to do the deed, you can adjust your speed and focus which will increase your chances of winning. This will also increase the chances of you not paying attention and getting killed in the process. It's a pretty nice change of pace from all of the mindless shooting in the game. So the story mode will last about 6 hours, which is a great length for a $15 arcade game, and you have a nice amount of replay value seeing that there is a new game plus mode and tons of collectibles to go back and find. But that's not it, you also have an arcade mode which lets you replay some of the key scenes in the story mode, but instead of a story, you can try to get the highest score possible. It's a fun little diversion that is addicting mainly because of how good the gunplay is, and also I like to get a high score. So overall, Call of War's Gunslinger is a great arcade style shooter. Entertaining story that actually affects the gameplay, gunplay that is unique to the series, and a nice style which really works with the setting. Gunslinger is worth your $15 so go and pick it up. Thank you and goodbye.